Echo One AR57, courtesy of Echo One USA. In the box, you will find one AR57, two 67 round P90 magazines, one metal front sight and one metal rear sight, one standard wall charger, one 96 nunchuck battery, and of course, one 30 day Echo One warranty card. The AR57 is based on a real steel caliber conversion kit that changes the round from 5.56 to 5.7, which is found in P90 magazines. The real steel counterpart uses the M4 magwell to eject the brass. In airsoft, this area is non-functional. However, it will still hold an M4 mag. To not let good space go to waste, you can rewire to the magwell and hollow out an M4 magazine to hold your battery. Oh, front loop! Uh, this will allow you to swap out your crane stock for any other uh, M4 style stock you would like, or even run the gun stock. At first glance, we notice that the AR57 has a standard M4 lower and pistol grip, along with an M4 6 position crane stock. What sets this gun apart from M4 is that the metal upper receiver is designed to hold P90 magazines. Simply lock it into place and press firmly. And to remove it, you just pull the lever. The hop-up wheel is located on the top of the upper receiver. The official licensing by AR57 is engraved on the left side of the gun, as well as the Echo One USA trade. The length of the gun is 32 inches with the stock extended, and with the stock retracted it is 29 inches. The iron sights work fairly well on this gun, but there is still some room if you would like to attach an optic of your choice. There are three lengthy panels of railing which allow you the option to attach a flashlight, grip, AFG, etc. Unfortunately, the selector switch is not ambidextrous, and there is no sling mount. To insert the battery, remove the butt plate and the piece underneath, and connect the battery. Place the battery inside the stock and adjust the wiring. Put everything back together. This gun is also LiPo ready, so you can upgrade your battery to get a higher rate of fire. The gun chronos at 420 to 430 feet per second with .2s, and shoots at 14.5 RPS with a LiPo. This gun has a modified version 2 gearbox that is cut a bit differently because the mag sits on it. It is still compatible with most version 2 parts, with the exception of the air nozzle and hop-up unit. This is a unique gun and you will definitely stand out on the field. It still has the same feel as an M4 and has a full metal body and rail system. The AR57 is also a 1 to 1 scale on its real steel counterpart. Another pro is that the AR57 is full metal and shoots great for outdoor games. It's also fairly easy to reload once you get the hang of it. One of the cons is that this gun is very specific, so it will only take Echo One P90 mags with no problem. With other P90 mags, the gun may misfeed every other bullet or so. Another con is if you load up the mag too full, the tension may cause the BBs to shoot at an irregular velocity. To fix this, simply fire the gun a few times, or once you finish loading up the mag all the way, release some of the BBs. Thanks for watching my review video of the Echo One AR57. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.